I started my day with coffee. Um, for breakfast, I'm going to do some classic avocado toast. I'm going to be using one slice of this Sara Lee Artisano bread. Um, this is actually from Costco. It is three points for one slice. Um, and I've actually found that the Aldi brand, um, the slices are a little bit bigger and it's the same amount of points. So I'll probably be buying this from Aldi in the future. I am going to be doing um, half of this avocado, um, making sure that the amount is going to be about two points. I am going to top it with this, um, everything but the bagel seasoning. I put this on literally everything. It is such a good zesty flavor. Um, I can get this from Costco or Aldi. Um, I'll usually get the big one from Costco. And then I'm just going to um, plate it with some fresh strawberries. Strawberries have been really good this season, so I'll show you the finished product. for the bread, two points for the avocado, and then some zero point fresh strawberries on the side. I am going to go enjoy this and I will check back in with you. Um, usually I'll have a snack, a light snack, kind of mid-morning, um, depending on um, how crazy the morning gets. So I will check back in with you if I do that. Also, of course, I'm trying to start to get my water in for the day. I always try to use an insulated um, cup. I'm just more motivated to drink water if it's kind of ice cold, to be honest with you. I'm a little bit of a snob with my water that way. Um, but I've been trying to get 96 ounces daily. Um, so about, I think, like four of these um, would equate to um, 96 ounces. But we actually have a singing retreat, my husband and I, this week. So I'm probably going to up that a little bit more just to stay um, extra hydrated. It's a very strenuous week on our voices. So, um, but again, on the daily, I do try to stick to um, at least 96 ounces a day, um, probably a little bit more just based on the demands for this week. Okay guys, so it's about 10.45. I'm just having a snack, um, a mid-morning snack here. Um, so I am just having the Aldi brand Friendly Farms non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, this is their strawberry flavor. I like this because I don't like a lot of chunks 
of fruit in my yogurt and this is blended um, pretty well for that and um, it scans out to two points on the um, I track bites plan that I'm following uh, very good um, not too much of a tang yogurt. And then I'm pairing that with uh, just a sliced banana. Um, so a little bit of protein, a little bit of fruit that should carry me through um, to lunch. And I will update you guys um, on what's gonna be for lunch today. So it is lunchtime already. Oh, I'm just having one of those days where I feel like the day is just flying by, which is actually a good thing sometimes, but I am just breaking here quick to have some lunch. Um, this was actually a new recipe that I tried, so I've got some shaved steak and teriyaki cauliflower rice. Um, I actually did the shaved steak in my crock pot, which I was not anticipating doing, but that's just how the day ended up working out that I, I just needed to throw it in the crock pot. And then this is actually just a pre packaged um, individual portions of the cauliflower rice from Costco. Um, it's got some veggies in it and I just threw on some uh, teriyaki sauce over it, just a really, really small amount just to give it a little bit more flavor. Normally I do not like cauliflower of any kind, like just plain and crust rice. I usually just don't like it, but this is actually the first time I've liked it. Um, so that is really great. The serving that I have of the cauliflower rice is two points and then the serving I have of the shaved steak and it's lean and trimmed is four points. Um, so this would be a six point lunch. Um, I am pairing it with my new obsession. So I used to live in Illinois. I live in Wisconsin now and when I moved to Wisconsin I could not find this diet sun drop anywhere like for years and then I found it randomly at Walgreens um, so I am just pairing it with a zero point diet sun drop for just a little bit more caffeine boost um, and then again continuing to work on my water um, but there is my six point lunch um, gonna pause maybe sit outside to enjoy this it's a beautiful day um, and then I'll probably have a snack a little bit later on and then we're having a little bit of an earlier dinner um, just because we We've got some rehearsals tonight, so I will keep you posted along the way. And of course, and we're back at it. So my husband actually um, came home and surprised me with one of my favorite coffee orders. I'm a classic order that I always go to. So it's a venti um, iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla syrup and light cream. Um, this is probably one of the coffee orders that I feel like gets me the most bang for my buck in terms of money, caffeine content, and low points. Um, because I use the iTrack Bites app free version, I don't always have a way to know the exact points on restaurant items or chain items. They give you kind of a rough estimate. Um, so sometimes I have to go on my best guess, which is going to happen sometimes. Let's say you go to a little shop or um, somewhere where you don't know all the exact ingredients that's in something. Sometimes you'll just have to use your best guess based on um, your knowledge of um, the points and, and just food content. So I am going to count this and I usually count this as three points. Um, so I kind of account for um, the half and half that they put in here as well as just the sugar-free syrup. I believe there's four to five pumps of that in here. So I think I'd need to count that um, anything above three um, pumps. So I'm going to count this as three points and move on with my day um, because I can't agonize over having the exact amount of points. Um, but again, this just kind of shows I didn't plan for this as a part of my day when I was planning what to eat and snacks and calculating points. Um, I didn't plan to have points accounted for this, but this was a really nice surprise. Um, and, and it's okay to, you know, have something unplanned and you can kind of adjust the rest of your day around it in terms of snacks, um, meals, and, and things like that. So don't feel like you can't go... Um, be a little bit flexible with your day here. So I will check back in with you later after I get more caffeinated. You guys know how it works around here. So 
here's the plan for dinner this evening. So we're just doing some classic sandwiches paired with some fresh fruits and veggies um, and just kind of a little snacky side. So what I've done is I've made a roast beef sandwich um, on a bagel thin. Um, so these are the bagel skinnies that I use. Um, I find these at Aldi. They are three points of bagel. Um, so if you want to do a little sandwich, you'll probably use less points using one of these than if you were to use like two slices of bread. Um, so I use those. Um, and then I also did, like I said, roast beef and cheese. Um, so for the cheese, I just used one Velveeta slice, which is actually one point. Um, this is the lowest point sliced cheese I've been able to find so far. Roast beef, usually I don't buy roast beef. I always have the assumption that it caught, it's more points than it actually is. So that's why I don't buy it. But I bought this um, just at Walmart, I believe one day. Um, but again, it's 96% fat free and two ounces of this is only one point. Um, so that's great. And then just to spread over the Beagle Skinny, I just did some of this Happy Farms um, Aldi brand whipped cream cheese spread. I believe you can have two tablespoons for one point. Yes, two tablespoons for one point. Um, so that is a really nice option instead of like mayo or something like that that's gonna be higher in points. So we use this a lot um, for breakfast or for sandwiches. Um, on the side, we're going to do some red grapes um, as well as some just fresh broccoli. So I'm going to dip the broccoli in ranch. Normally I don't use full fat commercial ranch dressing and this thing is huge. So I have no idea why we even have this or where it actually came from. But um, I believe for this one, it's pretty high in point value. You're gonna get two tablespoons, but it's gonna be for four points. I mean, look at the fat content on that there. Um, I, I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of this um, instead because I've just got a small amount of broccoli. Normally when I dip veggies, I actually make my own dip. I'm using either light sour cream or um, fat-free um, Greek yogurt plain and kind of just mix in either a ranch seasoning packet or the everything but the bagel seasoning that I put on everything. Um, but tonight we're just gonna use this. And then it's just a little side. I've just got one of these Pirate's Booty white cheddar popcorn. These are perfect grab and go packets. Um, these are gonna come in at two points for this bag. Um, and it's a pretty good sized bag. I mean, if you pair it with like a sandwich and, and other things that you're going to have to supplement your meal. Um, so this is going to be our grab and go dinner for tonight. So we've got three points for the bagel, um, one point for the cream cheese, one point for the roast beef, and one point for the cheese. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six for the sandwich. Grapes are zero, broccoli is zero, probably going to do two points of ranch for the one tablespoon and then two points for the popcorn. So we're looking in at a 10 point dinner um, just for the grab and go night tonight. But again, I just use simple ingredients that I always keep in the house. Nothing fancy here, nothing novel. Um, you know, when it comes to me, I really just want to keep it healthy, but keep it something that even if you have a busy night, you do not have to worry about running out the door and trying to, you know, make this elaborate healthy meal. This is something that you could do any night of the week. So we're going to eat this quickly and then get on to where we need to be for the evening. Hey guys, it is 9.41 p.m. I'm just getting home. Like I mentioned, it's a bit of a crazy week this week. Dinner on the go worked really well. We were able to get to where we needed to be on time and still um, feel fueled for what we needed to do. Um, I actually did not end up taking the ranch that I was ranting about earlier. Um, I completely forgot it, so I didn't end up using those last two points of my dinner. Um, so actually, um, in totality, my entire day, I used 25 out of 29 points. Um, so I've got about four points left. Um, usually I try not to eat this late in the day, um, but just with how rigorous this evening was, I think I might need actually a little something before I go to bed. Um, maybe like some popcorn or something. Um, I might just crash because I'm too tired. I'm not quite sure. Um, but just to kind of recap on the day, um, 
it was really good to have just a nice protein filled breakfast in the morning. My first snack was filled with a lot of protein too. Um, lunch was a new recipe that helped me learn that I actually might like some cauliflower based things. Um, and then um, again, kind of an unexpected treat. Sorry, that's my talk drinking water. A kind of like an unexpected coffee treat um, in the afternoon kind of work the rest of the day around that um, and then yeah shaved off a couple points for dinner so might dip into a snack might not we'll see okay so that didn't take long I am going to end my day um, with about a three point snack here um, again just because the evening was so long I do just need a little something more and I have the points for it um, so I'm having some of this Angie's Boom Chicka Pop um, sweet and salty kettle corn um, only 40 calories per cup um, it's a really nice light flavor not too like sugary aftertaste that I don't really like um, so you can have two cups for four points I've got about um, a cup and a half here just kind of the, the remainder of the bag so I'm gonna count it for three points um, which then would bring my daily total to 28, yes, 28 out of 29 points. I'm gonna crush this snack and go to bed. I hope that you had enjoyed coming along with me, doing a what I eat in a day. Um, I plan to have some cook with me, um, recipe videos coming up here soon, um, a grocery haul, cause we're running low on some things. So if you wanna tag along for the ride, um, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with my shenanigans. Um, but thanks for visiting my video and I'll see you in the next one.